welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building this CSX YN2 SD40-2. And this is an all new, updated build for 2022 with brand new features and tons more details compared to all my previous SD42 builds. And as you can see here, this is my previous version of this SD42 build. And it was very old and outdated in need of update. This was actually the first Minecraft tutorial I ever posted, which for some reason is still my most watched video, with over 6,000 views. But you can see, especially the trucks are very outdated, and the length isn't right, so it was time to update it. So, we have a lot of new features on this build. We have the MU cable up there now, and a brand new truck design down here with lots more details, and even all the plumbing back behind it here. And some new ways of doing this area around the fuel tank as well here. And the MU cable is on the back as well, and also a new version of the back end. And one of our biggest changes is the doors here. As many longtime viewers know, I've always put the door right here, and on this side, on the side of the nose here, which is slightly inaccurate, as it means we then have to build stairs to get up in here on this old build, but we've completely revamped our system of doors on this new version here. So what we're doing now on this new one is using a door for part of the wall to get the door in the correct place. It gives us a much more accurate door placement which allows us to make a more accurate interior since we don't need stairs, but it does provide an inaccuracy on the windows as we had to bump the windows forward a block. But as you can see now, the door is in the right place and we actually get a control stand now. And then same thing on the back, the door is in the right place back here. Something new I'm trying out? Let me know in the comments if you guys like doing it this way. So let's get right into this brand new build now. So as usual, we're going to start with the rear coupler, and we'll take a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak bedscape. Then on the next lock down behind it, three polished black stone on the bottom middle, and an upside down polished black stone stair facing outward on either side. Above that, five polished black stone across here. Then in front of this, a three block tall T shape in the center, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a 5x3 of polished black stone coming out to each side. Then three oak slabs coming up this gap for stairs. And three on this side here. Then on this top middle back here, three polished black stone slabs. Then we'll take out lightning rods. We're going to put two here. And we're going to put two here. Take out the inner one on each side and open a dark oak bed skate on either side of the coupler. Then we'll do the MU cable. So up here on the middle and left hand side up here, we're going to put two mangrove bed skates here. Then right here, put a creeper head. Then we'll swing up in front of here. Next, we have our all new truck design, which actually has traction motors, which I had never put in before. So we're gonna come one block forward from this. On the middle, put a cauldron. And then on either side of the cauldron, a netherite wheel on each rail. Then in the middle, put a lectern here. Then two dark oak trap doors on each rail. Then another set of wheels with a cauldron in the center. And another lectern. Then two dark oak trap doors on each rail again. And then a final set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. And then a lectern right here. Then we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate here and here. And a sideways one here and here. Next, put a hopper on the side of all six wheels here. Just like that. 
Then we'll take out Polished Blackstone again. And we'll swing around on top of this here. And do a line of Polished Blackstone up the center. Until it's above this lectern. Then this is another new detail. We're going to do a full line of sideways dark oak fence gates up here. For all the different lines that are running back here. Like that. Now we'll take out deep slate tile slabs, stand on the top of this and crouch, put a single slab on top of all six of these hoppers. Then we'll move one hitbox down between them and put two slabs in each of these two gaps. And then same thing on this side over here. So from the side the truck should look like this now. Then, come down here, crouch, and put a Wither Skeleton Skull on all three hoppers here. Do the same thing over here. A Wither Skeleton Skull on all three of these hoppers. Then we'll go to Polished Blackstone Block. And we're going to come on the end of this here, on the bottom middle. And we're going to make a rectangle of Polished Blackstone, three wide in the middle. And then 14 blocks long in total. Once you have 14 blocks, fill this all in so it's a big rectangle. Then, skip one block forward from this, and we'll get a set of netherite wheels on each rail with a cauldron in the middle. Then, two dark oak trapdoors on each side. Then, another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron. Then two dark oak trap doors on each side again. And another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron. Then we'll take out a lectern. We'll put one right here. One here. And one right here. Then take dark oak fence gate. A sideways fence gate here, on each side at this end, and right here. Then come through and put a hopper on the side of all six wheels. Now come on top of the fuel tank here, put two rows of polished blackstone across this end, and two across this end, and leave this middle open. Then come up above this truck and align a polished blackstone up the center and stop aligned with these front fence gates. Then a full row of dark oak fence gates up here for the plumbing. And a full row on this side. Now just like before, stand on this and crouch and put a single deep slate tile slab on all six of these hoppers. Then step one hitbox down between them and put two slabs in between them on each gap here. Same thing over here. So our truck looks like this. Then we'll crouch and go ahead and put a Wither Skeleton Skull on the side of all of the hoppers. Same thing over here. We need to get Wither Skeleton Skulls on the sides of the hoppers over here. Now take polished blackstone slabs up here, and we're going to fill this three wide on the upper hitbox so that there's a gap here. So when I was rail planning one day, I noticed it looked like there's a gap between the fuel tank and the body. So there's a space right there. Then on the bottom of this fuel tank, a full row of upside down polished blackstone stairs here. And then of course, same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs on this side here. Now skip one block back on the front of the fuel tank, a mangrove button on each side like this. Then we're going to put an inward facing dragon head next to it here and here. Then behind that we're going to do a sideways dark oak fence gate here and here. Then we need to crouch and put a mangrove sign on the side of that fence gate. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. So crouch and get a sign on the side of the fence gate. Then we'll do our air tanks. So take out anvils, skip one block back from this sign, and do a full line of anvils to the back of the fuel tank. And then same thing here. 
then we need to put a sideways dark oak fence gate right here and right here. Now above the middle wheel on the truck, put a dark oak fence here and one on the middle wheel here. Then we'll do the same thing here, one on the middle here and one on the middle here. Then we're going to take out grindstone, one here and here. Same thing on this side. We'll do the same thing for the back truck, a grindstone here and here. Then here and here. Then we're going to take out lightning rods here. We need two here, two here, turn around, two here, two here. Then we'll do the same thing at the back truck. So two lightning rods here, two lightning rods here. Come over here, two here, and two right here. Now we'll come up front here, and right in front of this, we'll take polished blackstone, and we're gonna make a five by three coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the center and hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, three polished black stone stairs on the bottom middle facing forward and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three polished black stone slabs on this top middle, three oak slabs on the side here, three oak slabs on this side. Take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block. Under it, we're gonna do a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we'll go ahead and put two lightning rods here and two here. Then I think we'll move these airlines down, so open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom here. Then on this top, two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head. So we're going to change that on the back here. I'm going to put this back to a lightning rod on each side. And we'll move the airlines down to open a dark oak fence gate above the rail on each side of the bottom. So that'll just give us some more detail on the end here. Now come on top and we're going to fill this whole top middle three end to end with polished black stone block. Then on this top outside edge, we'll go end to end up here with yellow concrete. And same thing on this side, end to end up here with yellow concrete. Then we're going to come on this conductor side on the front of the fuel tank and hang a bell up underneath here. And now the base is finally done. Now come on top of the front on the third block in in the center. We're going to do a yellow concrete, blue, yellow. Then three yellow here, three here, and then for another new detail we're going to add three yellow stained glass panes on each side like this. Then behind this on each side, we're going to do two yellow concrete and then one. Fill the rest of this to the top of each side with blue concrete. And go ahead and fill in this top middle as well. Then we're going to come in and put a trap door right here for a brake wheel. Then we need to get yellow shulker boxes here. We're going to put two yellow shulker boxes on this bottom outside edge, right under here. So two here, and go ahead and do two on this side. Then behind this, we're going to go to blue shulker boxes, do four on each side. Then on this side, we'll add two more at the back. Then take blue concrete on this side. Actually, I think we're going to move this trap door up one block. Then we'll put a blue concrete right here. 
and then bring it to the back of this section. Then on this side we need more blue concrete right here. Then above this, blue in each corner, and two yellows on the sides. And actually I already was doing it the old way. We need to knock out this one for the door, and this one on this side. Then take a warp door out, and we're going to put a blue concrete on the back here. We're going to put a warp door here flush with it, turn this way and one right here. Then same thing on this side, a warp door here flush with it, turn this way and one right here. Then we'll put two black stained glass blocks above each of the yellows, a blue concrete here, and then here. Then on the center, black glass on either side and a blue concrete. This is what I was talking about where the windows bump forward. We'll put three blue concrete above it. And we'll fill the rest of this middle three with light gray wool. Then four andesite stairs up here. And we'll go ahead and do four on this side. Now we'll put a blue concrete on this top middle and a blue stained glass paint on either side of it. So this is what our cab design is looking like so far. Now come to the back end. In the middle, we're going to leave a gap of four blocks and on the fifth block, yellow concrete in a pattern like this. Make it two blocks tall. On the third layer, a blue in the center and then two more layers above it of yellow. Then in these corners, we'll put five yellow stained glass panes on each side. Then we'll come up here behind the cab on each side one block in, a full layer of blue concrete up each side till you get to this back section. Just like that. Then swing back up here, use blue concrete on each side, and we'll do a column of three, then a column of two, and then one. So it steps down like that. Now I come in this back middle with cobbled deep slate, one back here, then another six coming forward over this blue concrete, and we're going to go ahead and just raise that all the way to the top. Then on the side of this cobbled deep slate section here, we're going to take light gray shulker boxes, and we're going to fill it in three blocks high. You can also use light gray concrete if you don't like the shulker box look. I'm just trying to replicate all the panels. But actually, I think we miscalculated the length of this. So we're going to come up on the front of this section here in the center and extend it forward another block. So another column of cobble deep slate here and three shulker boxes here. Then we'll start filling this side three high with light gray shulker boxes. Except up here, we're going to leave this one empty and we're going to put black glass in there. Then up here we're going to do three iron bars and a site wall, three iron bars. Same thing on this side. We're going to do three iron bars and and a site wall and three iron bars. Now come up here and fill these first two on each side to the top with light gray and come across the top with it. Then we're going to come three blocks back with light gray and leave one block at the top of space. Three polished basalt on either side, a three by three of andesite slabs up here. Then we'll fill in the rest of this here. So we'll take light gray concrete again and we'll just start filling this whole side in with light gray concrete. And right up to the top here. And then right to the back. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll just fill this whole side in up to the top with light gray concrete. Then up here, we're gonna put a smoker for the exhaust, a light gray concrete, and fill the rest of this hole with light gray. Surround this smoker with iron trap doors on top. Now come on top of the back with andesite slabs, a plus shape right here, a second one, and a third. Put trap doors in the center for the fans. Then on the side of the top, right here, an upside down and a side stair on either side, one block board from that. 
then five outward facing deep slate tile stairs. Same over here. Then a forward facing upside down andesite stair on each side. On the center of this section, use andesite slabs to make two plus shapes for the dynamic brake fans. Knock out the middles, put in cobbled deep slate, and then trap doors. We're also going to put an iron trap door at the back right here. On this top middle, open a dark oak landscape for the horn. We actually need to change the block behind it. So we're going to come in and grab light gray wool. And we're going to change this block behind it to light gray wool. Then open another fence gate and put a light gray carpet on either side of it up here. Then we're going to put a lever here and cover the rest of this with light gray coming back. In the middle here put a flower pot. Then two rows of light gray carpet here. Skip back here and start putting carpet all around and in between these fans up here. And then just keep it coming back between all these back bands. And then down and around the rear end here. Now we're going to take out black carpet up here on the nose. And we won't be able to put it up by this door because the door's there. But get one on this shulker box. Two here. A T-shape on the front. Two here. And two on these shulker boxes here. Then cover the top of this nose with black carpet. Then come behind the cab back here. And the walkway is actually raised on this side, so we're going to use dark prismarine slabs. And we're going to bring it down above this first back wheel. Then, right here under this polished basalt, a blue stained glass pane, two light gray. Then two layers of three light gray for our blower. Come behind these slabs and bring black carpet down to the end and start filling it in across here. A T-shape on the very back. And then we'll come right up this side. And then we'll crouch and get one on this shulker box. Now we'll do our railings to so take an oak fence out. Right here, we're gonna come up four. Here, we're gonna come up three, over one, and up two. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, right here, up three, over one, and up two. Here we'll come up four. We'll repeat the pattern at the back. So here come up four, here come up three, over one, and up two. Here come up three, over one, and up two. And here come up four. Then the rest of these fences are supposed to be gray, but we don't have gray fences. So you can pick whichever color fence you want to represent the gray. I think for this one, we're just gonna use birch fences here. And we're gonna put two birch here, two here. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing at the front. We're gonna put two here, two here. Then right here we'll come back one, up one, and over three. Right here we'll come back one, up one, over one, up one, and over one. Then we'll come to the back here, connect the fence up, and bring it forward. And I brought it forward to right here, but I actually realized looking at the picture, there's a small raised area here, so I'm going to come in and we're going to grab Lapis Lazuli, change this slab to a Lapis, then we're going to take out these front two fences here, and right here we'll come up one and over two because it actually raises up a bit. Then we'll come to the back on this side, go ahead and connect our fence up again right here start bringing it forward. Then right here, we'll come up one over one, then up one and over one again. Now come into a loom, blue banner and black dye, make the top half black, put a blue border on. This is for the cab windows, but because of our door placement, we 
can't put it on those doors, so we'll put one here. Can't do this side. One on the back here. Then we're actually going to crouch and just put a blue banner over this door to make the cab side look better there. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and crouch. Put a blue banner on that door. Now we're going to take out Lapis for our logo. So we're going to come up on the side, kitty corner from this polished basalt, and we're going to knock out this egg shape and put in Lapis. Skip a block back, do this reverse L shape, and kitty corner up one, put in Lapis. Then skip a block back and make a C shape. You could also just use banners for this if you like. We're going to do the same thing on this side. On this side, we start right in front of this blower. Knock out a C shape, put in lapis. Then this reverse L shape, and then kitty corner up one. Skip another block, knock out an X shape, and put in lapis. Now our logos are done here. Now we'll come up front here. We're going to put a glow item frame on either side of these fences with frog lights. Then we'll do one on this top middle with a frog light. And on the side, a birch sign with our number. And just to be fun, we'll make this crazy eights. So we'll do 8888. Eight, eight. Hit these signs with a glowing sack. Now we'll come down to the back. Back here, a glow item frame right here with a frog light. And if you want rear ditch light, same thing on these fences. Back here, we'll take out oak sign next to the light, and we'll do the 8888. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna hit these ones with blue dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll take fence gates on this side and run some fence gates up it for the ladder here. This bottom one, we'll have to grab black wool. We'll knock out this block, put in black wool, so that we can get a fence gate here so the ladder goes down. Now we're going to do the interior, so we'll come on in. This will be slightly different from how we did it before. We're actually going to put some light blocks down here for some hidden lighting, then take smooth stone slabs at the level of the door and just fill the whole floor in because the slabs will let the light through. Back here, put two blast furnaces. Then we're going to put a stair on each side for seats like this. Two slabs here for a control stand. Put two levers on it. And up here, a glow item frame with a recovery compass. And now we have a much more accurate looking cab. And we'll come back outside here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our YN2 CSX SD40-2 with our brand new 2022 updated build. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Let me know in the comments if you like all the new changes and details, especially how I've done the doors and cab on this one, or if I should go back to doing it the old way here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.